Agora TV. The world is thinking. If President Obama's nine-minute celebratory speech announcing bin Laden's death reminded you of George W. Bush, but with better diction, you are not alone. With no apparent sense of irony, President Obama eulogized those children who had lost loved ones due to terrorism and the scourge of violence, and those children whose parents' seats sat empty at the dinner table. But he said nothing of those orphaned children whose injustice was done to them by the man at the podium and by those that stood before him. Since Barack Obama took office, some 2,000 Pakistanis have been killed in drone strikes, and those are largely civilians. They are nameless, faceless Pakistanis. And no word was said about those losses or those children. President Obama spoke of bin Laden as being a mass murderer of Muslims, but said nothing of the hundreds and thousands of Muslims who have been killed since the invasions and occupations of Iraq and Afghanistan. Neither was there any acknowledgement that Iraq was a country that had nothing to do with Al-Qaeda or with Osama bin Laden, but has only become fertile breeding ground for both parasites since American, British, French, and we should say Australian as well, troops put their boots on its soil. The death squad who killed bin Laden, we were told, exemplified courage and determination, so much so that they are now in hiding and their families fear for their lives. The murder, which was also simplified as today's achievement, was a testament to the greatness of America and to the determination of the American people, who we were told, in the manner of a pep talk given to slightly obtuse children, can accomplish anything that they set their minds to, whether that is standing up for equality or defending their values abroad, or pursuing property. But he didn't mention the failures of this can-do country, the renditions, the disappearances of suspects who were not even told what it was that they were suspected of, the torture, the waterboarding, the schools and wedding parties accidentally hit by smart bombs and predator drones. And in perhaps the grossest pronouncement of triumphalism, we were told that we were either with President Obama in celebratory euphoria or not, and that all those who valued peace and human dignity would welcome the demise of Osama bin Laden.